Uh, it is estimated that uh, Bundukia Congo has some 100,000 followers uh, in uh, Bakongo in a province of nearly 3 million inhabitants. Um, so unlike uh, the Kimbangi's church, um, but like Abako, uh, it is a movement that is clearly more Congolese, i.e. Uh, from the uh, DRC, than it is Congo. Um, Bundudia Congo combines religion, politics, and cultural revitalization in furthering the overall goal of restoring the former Congo Kingdom. It wants a return to traditional Congo religion that excuse Christianity. And as I said, uh, um, or rather, while Kimbangism identifies with Hebrews enslaved by the Egyptians, Abundudia Congo reverses Kimbangu's prophecy, blacks uh, will become white and whites will become black. Um, because uh, from the perspective of uh, Mwanga Sevi and his followers, the Egyptians who captured white Hebrews were black. But after they escaped uh, Egyptian bondage, uh, Hebrews wrote blacks out of human history. Uh, Bakongo, uh, according to Bunda Via Congo, uh, came out of Egypt and are God's chosen people. In Africa, they constitute the 12 tribes comparable to the 12 tribes of Israel uh, that have populated the whole of Africa. Congo Central is the promised land and the Congo is the original language. And here we see that as in the Kimbangis church, on the one hand, uh, there is the idea that um, um, Bakongo are uh, very particular uh, and are uh, uh, singled out uh, as a chosen people, while on the other hand, uh, there are also claims being made uh, by uh, Mwantan Sen himself, so there is an inherent contradiction in his discourse. Um, that as one of his followers uh, told me, Tulo Monde e Mukongo, everybody is Mukongo, and one of the ways in which uh, Mwanda Semi tries uh, uh, to show that uh, is by an analysis of words uh, in different languages, uh, German, Japanese, uh, Spanish, and so on and so forth, which according to him uh, derive from uh, Kikongo and so show that ultimately Kikongo uh, is the one and only language and as uh, one of his followers has said, uh, everybody is uh, Mukongo. And to give you just uh, one uh, simple example, um, in one of his publications, uh, Mwanda Semi uh, writes that uh, uh, Bundes uh, Republic Deutschland, which is uh, the original German for uh, Federal Republic of Germany, that the Bund in Bundesrepublik is actually a Kikongo word. And there are many other um, uh, examples uh, of that uh, in his writings. Um, although, uh, to be fair to him, uh, he, he, he accepts that he's not a trained uh, linguist. Uh, he actually, um, be, 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 before he was called as a prophet, um, he uh, lectured uh, uh, chemistry, physics, and mathematics at uh, Laval University um, in uh, uh, Leopoldville uh, and uh, Kinshasa. Uh, while Mwanda Semi uh, claims to be a descendant of the Congo royal family and presents himself as a successor of Kimbangu and Kasavubu, um, uh, Bundu Dia Congo is most heavily indebted to Mpadism, the movement of another Congo prophet, uh, Simon Mpadi. Um, Mpadi was a contemporary of Kimbangu and his self declared successor, a claim rejected by the Kimbangu's church. Uh, he found the Bundu Dia Abandombe or Mission des Noirs, uh, Mission to the Blacks which rejects foreign religions, favors the reconciliation of blacks with their own gods and ancestors, the restoration of African political systems, and the rehabilitation of African values. Now, there are various prophetic movements uh, in uh, the Congo region in the DRC, led by prof uh, prophets who claim to be the successor uh, to Kimbangu, um, and the following uh, slides um, show um, one of those prophets, um, Tataunda, um, and his followers, Les uh, Omar as they are called, 
Um, and these are photographs. Um, they're very beautiful photographs. They are taken uh, by a friend of mine, Simo uh, Chamala, who is uh, um, a Congolese uh, photographer, um, who is a follower uh, of uh, Tata Onda, um, and who is himself a, a, a Muluba, which shows again that um, uh, even though, uh, in essence, uh, this church uh, is primarily uh, 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 Congo, uh, its appeal uh, is uh, not limited uh, to people uh, uh, who are Congo, who, are, uh, who, um, who live uh, in uh, the uh, Congo uh, region uh, only. And that's one, yes, I think that's the last one. Now, while the Kimbengi's church is represented uh, throughout the, the DRC and abroad, most of these uh, prophetic movements have no representation outside the Congo region uh, or abroad. Um, Bundu Dia Congo uh, is uh, an exception, at least in Belgium. I'm not aware of uh, them having uh, representations elsewhere. Uh, but they meet every uh, Sunday morning in the back room of uh, Kumba, which is a Flemish African center uh, in Matongi, the African company's neighborhood uh, in Brussels. Um, and actually, if you go through that gallery and you turn to uh, your left, uh, that is uh, where you find, uh, where you find uh, Kumba. Uh, currently, an informal association without legal standing that calls itself uh, Associ Association de Fait pour la Culture Congo uh, is organizing a first festival, including an exhibition about Congo culture uh, in uh, Kumba. It runs until the 8th of March, if any of you is interested in uh, going to have a look at it. Uh, now, uh, some of the organizers are uh, members of Bundu uh, yeah, uh, Congo, others are not, but they are all influenced uh, by um, uh, prophets like Imbangu, uh, um, and Mwanga Sen. Uh, they focus on Congo spirituality and they reject all former uh, Christian churches uh, which they consider uh, as not uh, being um, a Congo. They want to continue uh, what they consider specific forms uh, of Congo knowledge, uh, such as uh, uh, Kindoki. Um, um, but um, these um, are just a few of uh, the books um, that uh, were presented there uh, by various authors, um, which, um, for instance, um, uh, try to find secret messages embedded uh, in, Kokong, in Kikongo words uh, and again in ways uh, which I don't think would uh, pass uh, mustard with uh, my uh, colleague uh, linguistics. Um, they also uh, use the Mandombe script uh, which was first developed in 1978 by uh, a young um, car mechanic uh, who had a dream um, that uh, Kimbangu actually um, inspired him uh, to develop uh, this uh, script. Um, but even though while uh, they claim that um, they are only interested uh, in uh, a knowledge that is exclusively Kikongo, at the same time there is always um, this kind of universalist claim that they try to make simultaneously. And one of the speakers at one of the occasions, for instance, uh, try to argue or, or sustain his claim about the importance of vibrations uh, in Kikongo knowledge uh, and so on and so forth uh, by invoking Albert Einstein. Um, so in order to claim that what is a particular Kikongo, uh, uh, particularly Congo knowledge simultaneously uh, is also uh, say inscribed in natural uh, law. Now, what is uh, very striking is that even though the organizers of the festival stress the unity of Congo culture and people, in actual fact, all the organizers come from the DRC. And um, it was, I was very struck when I realized that all Congo associations in Belgium, and there aren't that many of them, seem to organize on a national rather than Congo basis. So, um, in actual fact, they all want to return to the original king, uh, Congo Kingdom, but they do it separately. 
uh, the Congolese, the Angolans, um, and then uh, to a much uh, a lesser extent, but that is because uh, there are uh, very few um, Congolese uh, of uh, Congo Brazzaville um, in uh, uh, Belgium. I was also struck uh, that most historical figures uh, represented in the exhibition in Kumba are Congolese from DRC, and um, that there are a few from uh, the Republic of Congo, but Angolans hardly feature at all, with the obvious exception of Kimpa Vita. And I actually had the impression um, that the organizers knew next to nothing about uh, Angolan history and culture. Um, and um, this is um, not unexceptional. Uh, for instance, the Kimbangis Church uh, is all but invisible in the public domain in Belgium, uh, Belgium, but it will occasionally commemorate political events that are related exclusively to the history of the DRC, such as Congolese independence or protests against uh, Leo II's <coughs> uh, violent uh, regime. Uh, in uh, uh, the Congo Free State. And uh, you see uh, here the uh, Kimangis, the uh, brass band um, at the uh, monument of Leopold II uh, in Ostend. And another <coughs> example, the church erroneously places Charles Kizo Lokele, uh, who is one of Kimbangu's uh, sons, and who died in Brussels uh, in 1992 at the round table uh, preparing Congolese independence. And not only that, but they situate that round table in 1958 in, instead of 1960. So one may assume that they confound it with uh, the universal exhibition that took place in Brussels in 1958. Now, in an interview a few years ago, uh, Maurice Bea, who's a member of the executive board of Kumba, <coughs> explains that Congolese culture and music are very dominant, and that Congolese are not very open to other African cultures, and Bea uh, himself is a Congolese. Many Africans, he says, notably Angolans, do not like Congolese at all. Um, the Congolese dominance, he says, in Kumba scares other Africans off. Uh, now, this dominance is related to the network of the coordinator, Jeroen Markelbach, uh, networks which he established uh, in uh, Congo. Um, and uh, this uh, shows him, uh, he made uh, a trip by bicycle from uh, Matonge in Brussels to uh, Matonge in Kinshasa. Um, because it remains a fact that uh, for Congolese in Belgium, uh, the Congo remains the place where reputations are made and un. Uh, 